Hello and welcome to the new product introduction for the new keyless locking device V-Lock Compression Hubs that Fender Drives is launching January 2014. My name is Jeremy Bigler. I'm the product manager for the keyless locking device product group. And before getting to this, I just wanted to give a quick overview of all of the value-added products and solutions that Fender Drives has to offer. For industrial belting applications, we've got Eagle Polyurethane Belting and O-Rings, as well as our HPC V-Belts headlined by Power Twist Plus. We've got our T-Max Belt and Chain Tensioners, Power Max Composite Pulley and Idlers, and finally we have our Trantoric and V-Lock keyless locking devices, which are typically used to mount hubs, pulleys, and gears to shafts with a mechanical interference fit on applications that range from blood analyzers to rock crushers. So let's get into it. But to give you a little bit of background on how our standard locking devices work, let's take a look at a couple of diagrams. On the left, you can see our Trantor keyless bushings and our B-Lock keyless bushings, and these are both internal locking devices. And when we install them, tighten down on the single locking nut, in the case of Trantor, or the series of screws when we're talking about B-Lock keyless bushings, that's going to draw the tapered components together, creating radial forces towards the hub and towards the shaft, creating that mechanical interference fit. On the right-hand side, we see a cutaway of a B-Lock shrink disc, which operates in a similar but slightly different manner, in that when the tapered components are drawn together, it creates a radial force towards the hub and the shaft, closing the clearances between the two, and again creating mechanical interference fit. Our new keyless locking device, again launching January 2014, is a patent-pending device that uses axial compression to hold the mounted components into place. So how's this going to work? What you can see here is we've got some front and rear inner rings, we've got front and rear outer rings, a series of screws, and in this case we're mounting a chain sprocket to a shaft. Just like all other B-Lock locking devices, we tighten down on the screws in series, and that's going to create a clamp load and draw the two inner rings together. And that's, that will engage the tapered surfaces of the components. And a portion of that force is going to be transmitted to the mounted component through axial compression. That's what's going to transmit your torque from the component to the shaft. The other portion of the clamp load is going to be directed towards the shaft in a radial force, just like our other keyless locking devices. And that's going to create your mechanical interference fit. Just to give you a little bit more of a close-up on how it actually holds the mount component into place, here you can see that the bore of the mount component matches our pilot diameter on the B-Lock compression hub. And this is to maximize concentricity and run out for the application. The product has the same great benefits as all other keyless locking devices. No keyway in your shaft means that you can use smaller shafts, bearings, and components, which is going to reduce your costs. The mechanical interference fit is a true zero backlash connection, which helps with maintenance issues like walled out keyways, fretting corrosion, and things of that nature. It has a simple insulation and removal, which is going to reduce your downtime. And it can be directly mounted over an existing keyway without any detrimental effect to the torque transmission capabilities of the product. Finally, it has infinite axial and radial positioning, which is important for applications that require precise timing. There are some extras with the B-Lock Compression Hub, though. This offers a way to eliminate the need for a hub, which is going to reduce the cost of your mounted component as well. And because it holds components with axial force or compression, it's perfect for things like thin components, like chain sprockets, cored out components that have been cored out for weight reduction purposes, thereby reducing the overall strength of the actual mounted component, and materials that can't handle high tensile stresses like aluminum, cast iron, and powdered metal type components. 
because BLAW Compression Hub is a split type component, it adds design flexibility in the fact that you can reduce secondary operations when you're trying to mount an assembly that's been bolted together, welded together, and things of that nature. So what types of applications are we looking at? Well, we've already talked about chain sprockets. We've got in B-Lock Compression Hubs another keyless alternative for your QD and taper lock detachable bushings. And again, soft metal gears and hubs are definitely an application where B-Lock Compression Hubs can be used. Some industries where keyless locking devices are seen as a large benefit Food processing and packaging equipment, where there's typically timing, reciprocating or reversing loads, stop starts that typically don't do well with keyed connections, as well as mining and aggregate and forestry processing equipment, all of which contain large shock loads, again, start stops and reversing. For more information, visit us at FennerDrives.com. We also have a Fenner Drives YouTube channel where you can get all of our latest videos on installation instructions, informational videos, and things like that. You can call us at the numbers provided here or send us an email at CustomerCareFennerDrives.com. Thank you for taking the time to learn about this exciting new product from Fenner Drives, the B-Lock Compression Hubs, again launching January 2014.